Hi everyone, welcome to day 25 of my 100 days challenge. We will be solving one of the SQL question asked very recently to one of my followers. So let's see the question. So the question says retrieve all IDs of a person whose rating is greater than their friend's rating. If the person doesn't have any friends, retrieve only their ID only if their rating is greater than 85. We have two table. The first table is the friends table. We have ID and their friends ID and the second table is the rating table where we have ID and rating for each ID. So let's see how we should solve this question. You can see I've already created table and inserted the same data which you can get from the video description. So let's see the first table. So the first table is the friends table where we have ID and the friend ID. And uh, here you can see we have the ID column and we have the data and we have the friend ID. So we can see two data without the friend ID here. And let's see the rating table. So in the rating table we have the same ID and uh, their rating so what you need to find out the ids where they have rating which is greater than their friends ids rating that is what we need to find out and uh, if they do not have any friend id we want to check if their rating is greater than 85 which is the second conditions you can see it here okay so let's start writing query to solve this so now if you see the first table which is the friends table they have one thing which is common that is this id right if you see the rating table in the rating table also we have this id and for each id we have the rating so based on this id we can get the friend id as well okay so let's do the join so i'm just going to do a left join first with the friends and the rating so let's do a join friends i'm just going to name it called sf and uh, let's do a left join left join with a rating which i'm going to call it as r okay so the reason i'm doing a left join because i need every id from the first table which is the friends table which you can see here all the ids and based on this id i want to see their rating okay that is my first task so i'm doing a join between the friends and the rating using a left join so i would say on and uh, the condition is the first table which is f of id and r of id which is the rating of id based on this i'm doing a join now i will have the data so let's run it and let's see so you can see i have the id and i have their friends id which is coming from the first table and i have their id from the rating table and i have their rating so what i have here is the id and i have the rating right so for each id i have the rating this rating doesn't mean their friends rating because we have done the join based on this id which is the first table of id and the second table of id okay so this rating that you see that is for their own rating okay so i can save it here so i need here id and uh, i need the id is coming from the first table which is f so next what i need is the friends id so i'm just going to say f of friend id okay next what i need is the rating okay so this rating is coming from r dot rating this rating is coming from r table so i'm just going to call it rating okay so these are the three columns i need for now let's go ahead and run it again now we have three columns just id friend id and the rating that we are getting from the first and the second table by doing a left join now what you need to find out what is their friends rating right that is the conditions we need to find out their friends rating we do have a friend id here and if you see the rating table so in the rating table we have the id right in the rating table we have this id so we can do a join with this table and the rating table one more time based on the id from the rating table and the friend id from our this table which is here so here we have the friend id right so based on this two i can find out what is the rating this two has in the rating table if you want to check let's see so let's see the rating table so the two has a rating of 90 right so based on this id which is in the rating table and the friend id in this table we can do a join so let's do one more join so here i'm going to say again left join because i need everything from my this table basically from this join so i would say left join and uh, left join with what left join with again rating table so left join with a rating table as r2 so this time i'm going to save it as r2 and uh, on what conditions so this time i'm going to join which is f from the first table f of friend id friend id equals r2 dot id this is going to give us the rating of their friend so if you want to verify it 
I can just select everything from both table and we can see the result. Let's see. So now you can see we have so many columns. So the first column we have ID and the friend ID that is coming from the first table, which is friends table. Then we have ID and the rating that is coming from our second table, which is a rating table. And this is the second rating table. This is the first rating table. This is the second rating table. So for this ID, the rating is 85, right? Because you can see the join has done based on this ID and this ID. So rating is 85. Now, if you want to see their friends rating, so we can just take this friend ID, which is two. And we have done a join with the rating table one more time. So here you see based on this friend ID two, we have done a join with ID two, which is from the rating table two, and we can see their friends rating. Now we can see their friends rating is a 90, but uh, this ID itself, their rating is 85. So that means we don't need this ID. We need those ID where their rating is greater than their friends rating. Okay. So we can simply use a where conditions to select this ID. So what we can do is that we can say where, so we can say where first of all this friend id is not null okay because we will say where friend id is not is not null first of all we want to ensure that this friend id is not null okay and we want to second we want to check that this rating which you see this rating must be greater than this rating okay so that is what I want to check here. So I would say this rating is what R1, right? So, or maybe R dot rating. So the name is R dot rating. R dot rating greater than R, R2 dot rating. Okay. So this is my first conditions. Now this friend is coming from F table and uh, this rating is coming from the rating one table. This is coming from rating two table okay now the reason why we are doing n logic here and why we are doing this is not null i'm going to explain later on so let's first put this in a comment okay so this is the first conditions if we just run this condition let's see what happens okay so we can see only those id where they have a rating which is greater than their friends rating now i can verify it for this ID, their rating is 85, their friend's rating is 75. For this ID 2, their rating is 90, their friend's rating is 75. For ID 4, their rating is 88 and their friend's rating is 85. So that means their rating is greater than their friend's rating. So almost our problem is solved, but it says if the person doesn't have any friends, retrieve only their ID, only if their rating is greater than 85. So now we will check if the person has a friend or not. Now all this person have their friend ID. So now we want more conditions. So we can say or, and we want to check if this friend ID is not null. Instead of not null, we will say if this friend ID is null. So we want to check if this friend ID is null. If it is null, then what you want to check? If it is null, then we want to check this rating that we have, which is rating their rating, okay, is greater than 85. Okay, now if they do not have a friend ID, they don't have a friend rating, right? So we, we want to check if it is greater than 85. Okay, so these are the two conditions we want to check. Now let's run it and let's see how many records we can see. So here we don't have a friend ID, okay, for this, which is ID 6, we don't have a friend ID. And uh, so we are doing join with their ID with the rating table ID itself. And we are getting the rating, which is 91, which is greater than 85. Okay. So we are getting all the ID and their rating and their friends rating. Now I can simply select this distinct on this to select the distinct ID. Correct. Okay. Now the reason why we are giving end here is that we want to verify that if the friend ID is not null. So if, first of all, we want to check if the friend ID is not null. So if the friend ID is not null, then we want to check the first condition. The first condition has to be true, right? So here the friend's ID is not null. Then we want to check the second conditions. So the second condition also has to be true for this where the friend ID is not null. What is the second condition? So the second condition says the rating must be greater than their friend's rating. So this is their rating and this is their friend's rating. Okay. So this rating is greater than their friend's rating, right? You can see it here and uh, that is the one condition so we want to check this condition is true if this condition is not true then we want to check either this condition is true so one of the condition must be true so let's say if this condition is not true let's say if the friend id is not null so it will directly jump to this conditions okay 
So here we want to check if the friend ID is null. So obviously friend ID is null for this and we are checking if the friend ID is null. That means this condition is true friend ID is null. Then we are checking if the rating is greater than 85. Yes, it's 85. So one more record which is missing that is the ID 5. So let's quickly check. Okay. Let's select everything and let's check. Now if you see this 5 which is friend ID is null and this 5 has a rating of 82 and uh, this is the reason we are not selecting because this rating is less than 85 which we have defined in the second conditions okay now i can simply go ahead and select what i need is that the distinct id so i would say distinct and distinct i need f dot id so these are the id which has a rating which is greater than their friends rating also if they do not have a friend id their rating is more than 85 so this is how we have solved this question today if you have any different approach to solve this question you can let me know in the comment box and if you really like my content and enjoy solving this type of problem do subscribe to my youtube channel and like the video have a good day see you tomorrow take care bye bye